journey from Kuala Lumpur and we're ready to go to our town. Okay, we're at the Chong I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, the new mansion. And uh, yeah, a very historical place here in uh, Penang. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna show you the room, our suite. Lovely uh, kind of day bed, and that's yeah. Isabella to sleep on, and Maya's cot. Yeah. And uh, this is the main bedroom. Show you the bathroom, which is uh, something special as well. There you go. There's a sink, and that's probably the best part of the bathroom, the bath. So, two minutes down the road from our hotel and new mansion, we've got the night market, and we've been told that in Penang you can taste the best um, street food in the whole of Malaysia. So, we're going to give it a go. spent the night here at the, in the new mansion and uh, it's funny because they've actually just now started uh, tours of the of the building so there's tour groups going around obviously the hotel bit is uh, cornered off so they're not able to come where the rooms are but they've just started the tour now this is a Protestant cemetery in Georgetown. Um, it looks very much like a cemetery that could be in the English countryside. This is St. George Church. It's the oldest Anglican church in uh, Asia dated back uh, to the 18th centuries. Yeah, they bought the incense now in gold, didn't they? So here we're in kind of like a Chinese part of uh, Georgetown. We've just been to a Buddhist temple there. And then, funnily enough, this is a Chinese vegetarian restaurant, which I didn't think existed because I didn't know that the Chinese like their meat. Uh, so that's interesting. And then just across the road, you have Little India. So it's a melting pot of cultures. I'd say that if there's a queue for the hawker restaurant, the hawker stores, then the food must be worth having. So. This one could be good, it's got quite a big queue. <laughs> Tali, Indian Tali from South Korea. Uh, so we're eating on the banana leaf and we should really be eating with our hands. Maya's trying it the traditional way. <laughs> Okay, this is the total of our bill. It's like four euros, and uh, but it's funny how they give it. It's just. Uh, numbers and then you add up you don't know what it was 12 or what it was one so it's really funny 
This is a herbal coffee from South India near Chennai. This gentleman's going to explain uh, what the health benefits are, and the, and the name is Sukumali coffee. Okay, so tell us what, what's the health yeah, it benefit? It contains uh, 11 types of herbs. Wow. Uh, yeah. Majority wow. is ginger, dry okay. ginger. Yeah, so the goodness is just red. It cleans the stomach, yeah. takes away toxin, okay. takes away phlegm, okay. takes away bad cholesterol, okay. and blood circulation will be good. Okay. Uh, so, it's than, so it's much better really than a traditional coffee. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we just finished in uh, Little India and what is good about this area is that you find uh, proper Indian food and, um, and local people and drinks, yeah. And it's good to meet like uh, local people, like, they make good food and it's really cheap as well. You can just, we had, we had lunch for like four people for like uh, less than four euros. Uh, it's a really good way to try new cuisine and new restaurants and discover new areas. Is it? This is salted eggs. They don't look particularly appetizing. In my opinion. Buying an unusual breakfast of duck pancakes with poison sauce. We'll see how that is. Me too. Looks quite good. Mm. That's the duck. And brown sauce. This is day three in Georgetown in Penang and this is the, the whole area in the center is a um, UNESCO World Heritage Area and there are some nice buildings, doors and uh, shops which I'm going to show you more. So in a lot of the old colonial houses that remain, there's some amazing tiles that you can see here. Colourful and gorgeously uh, patterned. Yeah. Oh. Really pretty. So we were regretting bringing the push chair on this trip because in Bali we hardly ever used it. However, since we've been in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur and here in Penang we've used it a lot and it's been a godsend because we've got the Padana for Bella as well yeah yeah this is Love Lane probably the most steep road in uh, Penang in Georgetown Street art we found in uh, Georgetown, and the girls are already there. Four position. <laughs> These are the two brothers, no, brothers and sister. We're just about to try the Blue Mansion's Indigo restaurant uh, for lunch, so let's go up this grand staircase to the restaurant. So they've even got the children's plates here, plastic, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. <laughs> okay. 
to break their heart. Yeah, and those are my sunglasses as well. <laughs> This is the start uh, and uh, it's a chicken. What is it called? Uh, dragon chicken. Dragon chicken salad, yeah. It's pretty good and uh, some tomatoes uh, for the girls. Yeah. I couldn't resist and I just got some spaghetti with seafood. They got prawns and um, some other seafood and felicity. And I got the salmon with croquet potatoes. It's very good. And uh, Isabella? Spaghetti. Got on the terrace here and you can enjoy a drink. Beautiful, intricate. Uh, yeah. Seeds uh, on the walls depicted with like tiles. And uh... now for our daily swim. <laughs> 